Welcome to Hoobie's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona, on my way to work at the Barrett Jackson Collector Car Auctions here in Scottsdale. The big event, over 2,000 cars selling. Uh, but I just got this shipped to me from California. A dealer buddy of mine bought it sight unseen, knew it was my dream spec of truck, and shipped it directly to Arizona to me because he knew I would definitely want it if it was as described. And it is. It is not as described. It is a total mess. So many things not disclosed and a major disappointment because this is my dream spec of vehicle right here. But I'll still show it to you here in a bit. But in addition to that, EuroAsian Bob is here at the auction and he has cleaned up and bought five amazing cars. And I'll also show you around Barrett Jackson and what they have selling on Super Saturday. A lot of Hoobies Garage cars that we can get some comps on from what I have at home. But first, well, let me show you this major disappointment. Yes, it's such a shame because from a distance, it looks like a dream come true right here for me. 2006 Escalade EXT, the last year of this body style GMT 800 with 26,000 original miles, which is true. It is a very low mileage example. And I was going to trade my BMW M6, a V10 supercar with very low mileage, similar low mileage for this. They've gone up a lot in value. The demand for them is huge since they don't make this style of truck anymore. And I was happy to make the trade until it showed up in person. Oh, the sun came out for a second and that beautiful riptide blue paint uh, is popping out. That was the dream, but then you get close and unfortunately reality uh, is not good. Four teams, one goal. Make it to Las Vegas in just a few short weeks. With all eyes on the prize, I've teamed up with DraftKings, an official partner of the NFL, to get you in on the action. Right now, new customers who bet just $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Yes, instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and sign up using my promo code Hoovies for your shot at the crown. That's right, new customers who bet just $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. The last time I had a deal like this with cars was when I bought an abandoned E with a stick shift for $200 years ago and drove it flawlessly 300 miles home. Wondering what you can use your $200 in bonus bets on? Combine multiple bets together from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If you're already signed up for DraftKings like me, you can get a no sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back if your same game parlay slash SGPX bet doesn't hit. Max reward limits apply. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry, you can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the chance to win cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use my promo code Hoovies and bet just $5 on any wager can get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code Hoovies only on the DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. So this came from California. My dealer buddy asked the seller who was private party to take pictures of the car. Any flaws that he saw, just give me some up close pictures of flaws. And the seller said, well, I can't because there aren't any flaws. It is perfect. It's 26,000 miles. There's no flaws to take pictures of. So really? Wow. Okay. I guess I'll buy it. So he bought it sight unseen and then shipped it directly from California to me. He lives in Wisconsin. And uh, so I was the guy who got the first look at it. And well, let's just go around it first. So the first big problem is it's hit something in the front here. And this is all bent in. You can see the stress crack right here. The fog light is broken. Big old scuff there. But if it was just the bumper, you could fix that. No big deal. But it keeps going. It does look like this thing has sat outside all of its life. So the Escalade crest is faded. It just keeps going. These deep, deep, deep scratches in the hood that are through the paint means the hood now needs to be repainted. So now we're at two panels, which is doable but sucks because I never like painting sheet metal. I don't mind painting plastic, but painting sheet metal, that's a whole different world. And then the matching of it is going to get a lot harder when you have big blend areas like this. But it doesn't stop there, unfortunately. This, this is really, really bad. This trim piece on this Escalade is coming loose and they super glued it back on and then a piece of it got chipped off. So I have to find a replacement trim piece and then paint that. It just keeps going. The tires are all weather checked because this thing sat outside. The chrome's pitting, a 26,000 mile example. And then the door right here, peeling as well, unfortunately. So now we need to paint the hood, the bumper, this trim piece, the back door. And because it sat outside its whole life, you look at the roof and yes, big old fade spot right there on the roof in the front and in the back there 
all coming off the clear coat so the roof needs to be repainted and then you just keep going back unfortunately uh, this side this quarter nice and clean but then you get to the fading in the back bumper here kind of hard to see because it's been raining a little bit but all of this is faded and ruined and then go to this quarter big old gouge right there big old scrape right here so the truck needs to be entirely repainted and it just keeps going all the way around and this was a flawless truck according to the seller so i sent all these pictures to my dealer buddy and he confronts the seller and the seller says well all that must have happened in shipping because it left here absolutely perfect all that happened in shipping really no that is very old super glue on that door right there uh the big hit in the front uh, all of that's not going to happen in shipping and no hole in the ozone layer is going to magically open up and cause that to happen as the car is being transported to here just a few hundred miles. So, shady guy, obviously. And since it's had outside, well, the interior has a little bit more wear than normally would as well. It's missing this button. This looks more wrinkled than my 95,000 mile Escalade that I have at home. And then the dashboard is starting to peel. So, it sucks. It's also missing this piece of fake wood trim on the door as well. So my dealer buddy, he's a pretty stand-up guy and he's obviously not going to do the trade. He's the one who bought this side unseen, sent it to me. Um, so he's just going to take it and deal with it. Maybe he'll repaint it and clean it up. Uh, there is precedent though, because one with 18,000 miles in not as good of a color, just sold and bring a trailer. He sold it for almost $40,000. That's the crazy market for these right now, especially the EXTs worth double than a normal Escalade. And if you're wondering why, well, this truck bed is pretty neat. You have storage compartments here, full secure bed as well, so you don't have to worry about anything getting stolen inside. And these are all easily removable, but definitely the coolest part of this platform, the avalanches and the Escalade EXT, is this rear cargo area. The seats fold down, and then you can fold the bed into the cab, so you can have a massive eight foot bed that goes into the truck and it's still secure with the panels on or you can remove all of them and this glass and have a very huge wide open space it is just so cool it is a truck transformer and the look of it well, i just love the look of it a lot of people think it's hideous but i think it is such a beautiful thing especially in riptide blue and I was very tempted to just go through and do it and make it nice and repaint it. But knowing me, I'd spend probably ten or $15,000 going through, recommissioning everything, repainting the whole car. And, well, I, I can't really do that right now. I was already going to just trade a car so I didn't have to put out any money. Uh, and I don't want to spend a bunch on this one. So it's going to go to Wisconsin, and we'll see what happens to it. Uh, definitely a huge disappointment and a very scummy seller. But... One person who is not disappointed is Euro-Asian Bob. He's here, come from Kansas to Arizona with me. And we have bought five amazing cars out here and I can't wait to show you. Look at this fabulous lineup of hoopties here. Wow. We have Skittles, Bob. Holy moly. So Bob has cleaned up at Barrett Jackson. And this is just a taste of them. So these are the three you're choosing. Yes, Euro-Asian Bob strikes again. So you bought five, but these are the three that you're choosing to drive back to Kansas, right? Yes. Bob's wife, yes. Becky, yes. Brian Petty as well. Yes. Brian bought a car. He kind of ended up like me. Uh, not quite what you hoped, huh? Not not quite. Uh, lo and behold, it has. I thought the heater was not working, but actually it has no heater. This is an old Porsche 914. He didn't buy it at the auction. He <laughs> bought it beforehand or tried to like me. And... Uh, didn't work out so well. Uh, Bob, you just showed up uh, with some plates and yes. money in your pocket, hoping you'd get something, and yes. holy smoke. So show me, I guess this one is a really unique spec just because of the color, but yes. pretty desirable in other ways. So, Six-speed manual. What year? Uh, 91. Okay, so not the LT1. 30,000 miles. So the tune point ejection yeah. car, which is better in it's some ways. very reliable. And very nice. Six-speed manual. Yes. And the color. Yeah. That's all. I don't know what it's called, but I love it. Very 90s teal. And then this is very unusual. Something brought in on the 25 year rule, an Alfa Romeo GTV. I've always wanted one of these. That's so cool that you got it. 98, and it has got the Buso. Yeah. So three liter V6. Yeah, we got to see the engine. Yeah. So 
five-speed manual transmission. These are front-wheel drive, which are kind of weird. Got the cool wheels. Yes, it's got the tele-dial wheels. And it's not the four-cylinder. No, it is the Fuso. That is so cool. Isn't it sweet? The engine note they say on this is probably one of the uh, gl most glorious notes ever ever concocted out of a V6. You want to hear it? Just mint condition. Yes. Yeah, let's hear it. M mint GTV, <laughs> designed by Pin and Farina. Now, for those of you in Europe, this is probably no big deal, but we didn't get these in the United States, so. It's a rare oddity. And I love the headlight situation here Isn't because it's, it's, you know, it's one piece headlight, but then close the hood, Bob. Creative engineering right have the there. Whole, that's a way to save some money there. Just cut out <laughs> two circles in the hood. That's, that's how they cool. engineer it. It's, it's very neat. And then this one, yes. well, more of a common used car if it wasn't this special and low mileage. So 13,000 miles. Yeah, 1996, right? Yeah. Purple, white, white top. It's not a Cobra, it's just a GT, but, but manual. manual transmission. And this one was originally a Canadian spec car, yeah. so it's showing 20,000 kilometers, which yeah. is, you know, 12, 13,000 miles. This was the last car last night. The last car of the day, and you picked it up. So. There, are, there are deals at Barrett Jackson. People think, oh, people overpay. You guys go to Barrett Jackson because. I mean, if, you know, there are deals out there to be had. Yeah, for sure. I tend to always pick up one or two cars while I'm there. And so we uh, certainly cleaned up here. And these are the three going back uh, to Kansas. The other two are going to be shipped. Uh, one, well, we'll go look at them here in a bit, but it's one because it's been sitting for a while and the other one, yes. well, it's not built to go 80 miles an yeah, hour. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it through it. But I'll tell you what, the funny thing though, is as soon as we get home, that's the car I'm jumping in and driving. Yeah, well, let's go back to the auction, check everything out in there, including the two other cars we bought. Absolutely massive facilities here, seven tenths, and then uh, the showcase, big salon area, but uh, Bob's cars are somewhere in here, the last two. Pretty sure it's behind this crazy pink duster. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Wow. It is so clean, Bob. Step on in. Yeah, just completely restored, restored. Yeah. to such a high level. <laughs> wow. And then the back. Yeah. Anybody can big just go power. in and look. Look at that big power. So that's why you're not driving it back to Kansas. Yeah. Uh, 60 would be tops in this thing. Yeah. 70, 80 would be screaming. And yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to this car. Although we did think about putting the other three cars on the truck and all three of us jumping in here. Huh. <laughs> all right, and there's one more. And in most cases, these are long gone or total ruined hoopties. Yes, but, uh, yes. In this case, it's actually nice, but it was a little risky, yeah. right? Well, it was just, you know, you just pick the best cars and the ones that I think it had old tires, old oil. It needs maintenance. I think it would have <laughs> It's funny, that car would probably make it and those other ones might break down, you never know. Yeah, we'll see. Let's go All look right, at let's it. Let's go check it out. Over 2,000 cars here at the sale, so everything's pretty spread out. <laughs> but here's the bell of all, Bob. <laughs> man, oh man. Oh yeah, Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Convertible from Minnesota, where you want to buy a car, Bob. I checked it. Trust it's, me, it's I clean underneath? underneath. It is, you know, missing a badge, so there's one little hook. Yeah, mark well you it. can fix that, I so. Know. Yeah. Wow. I, ever since I saw wow. these, I loved them. And that digital dash. Yep. That's very neat. It's in great shape. It's beautiful. Yeah, so old tires, like you said. Old tires, belts, fluids. Just looks like it's been sitting for a while, but it'll clean up really nice. Yes. Well, you are hitting the road. Yes. And I have to work. Yeah. So I'll catch up with you later. I can't wait to drive some of these back in Kansas. But uh, after the auction's over, I'm going to take you to Car Church. It's beautiful. Well, we're down to about 30. Well, wrapped up six hours of live TV today. That's the easy day. Tomorrow it goes to nine and Saturday to 10 hours of TV for a grand total of 37 hours of live television through the week, which is easy to do with cars like this. Take a look at this, six wheels, engine in the back, Hellcat supercharged motor. But then we get into familiar territory here with the SLS, the SLR, and another SLS right here. 
Going down the row, really nice GT3 Touring. This one's spec with a manual transmission. Then some Shelby's GT350 Boss 302 Shelby replica. Real Copo Camaro. But I'm working my way down to the supercars. Uh, but first, the winged warriors. Hemi Superbird, like my old one, except never raced and wrecked in period. And this one, numbers matching on the Hemi. Not one, but two matching numbers Hemis. And then we have a 441. But then we get into the supercar salon over here. And this is where things get really crazy. McLaren 765 LT, 2019 Ford GT with 20506s next to it. Lamborghini Countach 5000, 1988 a pair of GT2 RSs, in between them a manual 911 Speedster, which is just crazy. Maserati MC20, Audi R8, 488 Challenge, two LFAs, one of them a Nürburgring edition, new latest Ferrari hybrid, Viper ACR, F12 TVF, and behind that $125,000 piano that's probably gonna get me copywritten. You have a 918 Spider, a Bugatti Chiron, and my dream car, Mercedes 300 SL with the summer plaid seats inside of it. Look at this, holy moly. The headliner of the auction right here. And on the opening night gala, they actually had it up in the air on a lift, but set it to where it looked like it was floating midair with lights. It was just so beautiful. So that's what I'll be doing for the next couple of days. Once you're done watching this video, you can tune in to the live FYI and History Channel coverage for Friday and Super Saturday. I'll be on the block and out in the field and having lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching.